Hi, I'm Exo, and I'm on a journey to becoming a DIY guru. Barge boards not only give the roof the look of completion, but they're also important from a structural point of view. And because barge boards are traditionally made of timber and fiber board, they do tend to rot and get damaged over time. Today, I'm gonna to show you just how easy it is to replace these damaged barge boards. And the tools you'll need are a barge board, 5.5 by 65 millimeter tech screws and rubber washers, a drill driver and a magnetic nut setter, as well as a six millimeter steel bit, a hacksaw, a tape measure, a marker, a ladder, a spirit level, a pair of pliers, and a hammer, as well as your PPE. And I'm using gloves and safety goggles. The first step is to measure the length of the roof to find the length of the barge boards you need. Next is to remove the old damaged boards. These have been attached using roofing nails, so it's a simple job of pulling out the nails with a pair of pliers and a hammer. I'm gonna hold the new barge boards in place and mark where the rafter ends are on the inside. This is where the screws will go, ensuring that the position for the screws are slightly offset. Now before I trim the edges for a neat finish, I'm using the spirit level as a guide to mark a vertical line. Take the barge boards down and cut the ends using a hacksaw. So if you're needing to join two barge boards, you're going to need a joiner. And instead of putting the joint towards the edges, I'd suggest putting it somewhere in the middle. However, this barge board is three meters long and the length is 2.5 meters, in which case we don't need a joiner. So let's get started with a quick and easy installation. Next is to pre-drill the holes for the tech screws using a six millimeter drill bit. These new tech fiber board barge boards are made from a mix of cellulose fiber, cement, silica, and water. And most importantly, do not contain any asbestos. Now you can paint them if you like, but that has to be done with the water-based paint before the installation. And then position the new barge boards, ensuring the holes line up with the rafter ends. We can then attach the board using tech screws and rubber washers on the side and at the top. The tech screws will drill their own hole into the wood, but just be careful not to over tighten the tech screws because it might crack the board. And I'm using rubber washers to spread the load of the screws and the rubber parts will allow for a bit of movement. Do not hammer a nail through these boards. You stand a good chance of cracking them. There we are, job done. Now really, this wasn't difficult at all. I've managed to secure the roof sheets and this veranda is looking good again. Now remember, everything I've used today is available at Builders, in-store or online at builders.co.za. And for more how-to videos like this, check out the blog on the website. Get to Builders, get it done.